We're jump-starting our morning with Seminole Casino Hotel Immokalee, and they have a new cappuccino coffee and pastry bar full of muffins, cakes, and pastries. From cappuccinos to espressos, Seminole Casino has it all. But the Morning Blend is the only place where you can find these great mugs. We're giving away one right now. The fourth person to call, 239-673-3388, will receive this Morning Blend Seminole Casino mug and a voucher for a free coffee and pastry. Now, you can't win if you won anything within the last 120 days. Good luck. All right, and back with us now, Funny Man, a great polar starring in You, Me, Her, back for a second season, joining us to talk about more. Greg, good morning. So great to have you on the show this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So talk about your show and kind of set the stage if uh, anybody who maybe hasn't seen it yet. I know you're back for another season, but uh, kind of get us caught up to maybe what we may have missed. Sure. I mean, Yumi Her is basically a, a romantic comedy that just happens to involve three people. Uh, season one was really about my character and Rachel Blanchard's character being this suburban couple that both fall in love with the same woman and so find themselves in the unexpected arrangement, really, or, or circumstance of, of a three-person polyamorous relationship and, and all that entails. Oh my gosh, so literally you, me, and her. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and I know, by, by the way, I know these relationships are very big in the Florida area. I, I heard that in Miramar Lakes uh, in Fort Myers, there's a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, audience, we're talking these arrangements. to you. So what about season two? Is yes. there any, any twists and turns that uh, you can kind of, I know you can't reveal too much, because obviously we got to tune in for it, but, but what sticks out is um, maybe what, what should we be looking out for in season two? Well, I will have my shirt off quite a bit, um, so that's something to look forward to, or, or to not look forward to. Um, luckily, I, I, uh, I, I let myself go quite a bit, so I'm very flabby in season two, so <laughs> men don't have to worry. They can feel better about themselves just by tuning in. Um, no, but in general, my, my character, as you can see by the, the poster, it feels a little bit uh, on the outs uh, and a little bit of a third wheel in season two. So uh, as far as uh, my character, from the perspective of Jack, he's trying to figure out what, where he fits in this relationship and starting to wonder whether the two women have more of a connection. Okay. Well, I assume there's some comedic relief to it here. I mean, what are you really hoping that the audience takes away uh, from the storyline here? Yes, the comedic relief is also when I have my shirt off, <laughs> as we mentioned before. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think the show in general. I think you know, people who have watched the show, viewers, that the, the, the word we keep hearing is surprising. People are surprised by by how it, it plays out because I think on its face it feels like it's going to be a taboo or controversial show, but it really doesn't play out that way. It's 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 really very normal and very sweet and 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 hopefully very funny. So um, I think if you tune in, you you you'd be pleasantly surprised. Well, where can we tune in? I want to make sure my audience know when they can see you and uh, see the whole story play out. You, me, her. It's on the audience network, correct? Yes, it's on uh, AT and T's audience network uh, on DirecTV, and uh, season two starts on Valentine's Day at 8:30 p.m. And season one you can get on DirecTV now. All right, the perfect day to tune in Valentine's Day. What are your plans? You're going to be tuning into the show then too, right? Um, yeah, well, I've seen it. So, uh, oh yes, I'm supposed to say yes. Yes, I'm driving up ratings by watching it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I know my parents will, will be reluctantly watching it. They, my parents are actually in Marco Island. Oh. Um, hey, next so time. So I'd like to say hello to them if they're watching. Hey, Greg's mom and dad in Marco Island. Come visit us yeah. in the studio. And Greg, next time you come visit mom and dad, come in and say hi to us here in the studio. We'd love to see you. I, I absolutely will. <laughs> and uh, I'll bring my two TV wives. This Without a fun. shirt. You don't even have to wear a shirt when you come in. <laughs> oh, perfect. This is perfect. Match I don't know if you want heaven. that, but uh, I'll certainly come. Yeah. Greg, thank you so much. So great chatting with you, and uh, we wish you the most success with the show. It looks like a lot of fun. We'll be sure to tune in, and our viewers, if you guys want to learn more about it, too, we're going to have this interview with Greg posted online. Head to fox4morningblend.com. A new year means a New Year's resolution, but how are you going to feel about those goals now that we're into February, huh? Up next, some totally unique ideas, just in case you may have fallen off the wagon. Stay with us. <laughs>